Eric Patterson, the executive vice president at the Religious Freedom Institute and scholar at large at Regent University's Robertson School of Government joins us now with more. Eric, the latest news this morning is the Taliban granting amnesty and even inviting women to join their government. Why do you think they're doing this? Well, it seems like it's probably a fig leaf for the most part. They want to assuage international concern, but Afghanistan is already one of the worst places for violence against women and the persecution of religious minorities, including Christians. And so it's going to be, uh, time will only tell if there's some resolve there by the Taliban leadership to be a more inclusive and peaceful government. Based on their track record, how will religious minorities, particularly those who convert from Islam to Christianity, be treated under Taliban rule? Well, their track record is deplorable, but so is the track record of Afghanistan more generally. This is a nut that we were unable to crack. We didn't have the political will. The West did not to push Afghanistan in the right direction. For instance, the last Jew, the very last one, shuttered the synagogue in Kabul and left in June, uh, well before the Taliban got there. The religious, uh, the Christians, which only make up 10 to 18,000 people in the country, uh, they're destined for greater persecution. But there's been tremendous persecution against them for the past 20 years, despite the U.S. and the West being there. So it, it's a dire situation for religious minorities. Eric, President Biden said the war was lost already. Given your military background, do you agree? Well, this was a war that had a clear objective at the beginning to smash al-Qaeda, and then we stayed for 20 years. And so this is not an example of victory. If victory means either beating your opponent or a vindication of your values, your values spreading like we spread our values at the end of World War II in Germany and Japan. We did not meet either of those objectives. And just as the Council of Foreign Relations president or Fareed Zakari on CNN yesterday said, this is both a policy failure and an intelligence failure. What are your thoughts on those heartbreaking images of all the Afghans trying to flee? What, what, do you, what did you think? What went through your mind when you saw those? Well, it truly is heartbreaking, and it shows that the people on the ground know what's coming. I think that what was so debilitating is the thought that the Afghan leaders across the country, in, in provincial capitals and in cities and towns, that they had already sold out. And I think that's the, that's the intelligence failure, is, is that we didn't realize that over the past year or two years that the Taliban was negotiating secret deals with government officials telling them, if you stand down, we will not come down, come in and torture you and your families. And that's what we missed. We were not paying attention to actually excellent diplomacy by the Taliban who pledged either force or some amnesty to those folks. All right, Eric Patterson, thank you for your insight, sir.